Hi guys and girls, Rose Burnett here and this is your life purpose reading for June 2023. It is a general reading so always trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And if you enjoy my videos, want to join our positive community, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so my videos come through to you in your feed. Before we jump in, there is another competition running this month. So if you want to go into the draw to win the Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron reed all you need to do is subscribe to my channel pop a comment down below you'll go into the draw there's also a 45 minute personal reading up for grabs for those of you that's been been following me for a while i'll be looking for a very positive community member and just let me know in the comments down below that you want to win that personal reading you'll go into the draw i will not exclude anybody that is new to my channel now the competition winners have been drawn for may so listen up in case it's you so the winner of the uh, sacred power oracle deck was crystal teshenard and uh, the winner of the pre-recorded personal reading with, with me for may was tanya peach so i will be reaching out to both of you if that is you on um via youtube i'll also put the uh, info down below if that is you to get in touch with me via email to claim your prize all right my loves let's dive in all right taurus i have pre-shuffled and pulled your cards which there's a beautiful message flowing through here so first up, we're having a look at your higher spiritual guidance in terms of your life path yeah and you've pulled the universal midwife which is all about birthing fruitful and sacred assignments so giving birth to your creative ideas for some of you they're based in what you're passionate about around helping others bring light and love to this world for others it's something that's really creative yeah you've also pulled the medicine woman which is all about healing so whether it's healing self mind body soul or helping others heal as part of your path and you've also pulled the star mother which is being very loved and supported by the universe um, whatever you want to follow and it's super interesting i am going to deviate a little bit because underneath that you're divinely protected at this time by the universe um, particularly if you want to change careers yeah because right next to that you've got time to decide what it is that you want so if you want to change careers it's absolutely supported at this time uh, you know i mean whatever's in our heart space and what we're most passionate about is up to you to follow yeah for some of you part of your life path is you have this deep connection to animals so it can certainly be in relation to that whether that's something you do as part of your life path or in your time off uh, you've also got the emperor so archangel michael so being very disciplined organized taking actionable steps is really going to help bring any creative um, projects to life into the physical reality uh, you've also got being unable and unwilling to make a decision it's sitting right below time to decide so there's two horses butting heads here so there can be a stalemate going on with someone else if you want to follow a certain path whether it's a partner or someone in your life who's either not supportive or naysaying your ideas i mean it's always up to you you know you always have the freedom to choose what you want to do Spirit saying that no more procrastinating it based on your heart's truth what's most important to you is to make a decision and just to rely on your strength yeah you're uh, stronger than you think you are right now divinely protected mm -hmm. so in terms of the energies that are playing out which can relate to any blockages any opportunities coming your way you've got the opportunity the energy to manifest miracles at this time mm -hmm. because directly underneath that you've got all obstacles and blocks are being lifted out of your path so if you felt blocked before your path is opening up and it's absolutely going to lead straight to your coin yeah you got woman holding a coin here uh not gender biased here so guys same message for you there's absolutely the ability to manifest miracles in your life around your career and your finances right now you've pulled wisdom so trusting your own understanding to guide your path uh, you may have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and experience to share with others in terms of your abundance spirit saying to visualize abundance in all forms knowing that there's enough abundance for everyone that you have just as much right as anybody else to have abundance in your life and to feel abundant so it's about adopting that abundance mindset that positivity part of your abundance for some of you is your throat chakra it's a divine gift and talent the message you've got to share with the world whether it's a written word spoken word you've also got the voyage card so there's a mama or papa whale with a baby whale or supporting somebody else on their journey so it can be that you're going to do something in collaboration as a partnership with someone else in terms of your career your life path 
your finances. It can represent a special child in your life. It can mean that, you know, whatever you're creating is creating a generational financial legacy for your children. It can be a project you're birthing, new idea, new business. It could represent a soulmate journey as well. It can also represent travel. You've also got the message to focus on your priorities. So release distractions, procrastination, planning your budget, planning your actionable next steps, having a solid idea about where you want to head and what steps you need to take to get you there. Yeah. And there's lots of doors that want to open for you, lots of opportunities that you can do, but it's being very heart-centered about what's important to you. What do you want to do? What do you want to create? For some of you, your life purpose involves helping children in some way, if that resonates. And for others, you crave your freedom. So you need that freedom to run with your ideas, to just really fully embrace what it is that you want to create. Often that's an entrepreneurial kind of aspect. And for others, film and television is highlighted here. So again, we've got the throat chakra. So some of you are getting in front of the media, creating your own media. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many platforms now where you can get a message out without having to formally be on TV, right? You can create your own podcast, your own YouTube channel, messages you share through social media, on your own website, you know, courses, all that kind of stuff. Unlimited, really. All right, let's put your crowning energy. So we're using the uh, Lightworker Oracle, which is about your highest states of consciousness. Beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. Oh, this so wants to come out <laughs> and get hold of it. Oh, you got the paradigm shift. There's a big angel or angelic presence there and a door. Yeah. Uh, a door opening. So a paradigm shift is number four, by the way. It's a totally different state of being. So it means that you're elevating into a new, different aspect of your life. So whatever you're leaving behind is leaving your world forever and you're opening up to the new. So often when we have a paradigm shift, it, it shakes things out of our life to open us up to the new or eclipses things out of our life. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Taurus, you're undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in this moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. And Buddhists often speak of the beginner's mind, that which assumes nothing and is therefore open to everything. And a spiritual psychologist might call this the inner child. It is innocent, curious, unfixed and always learning. It doesn't get stuck on an answer having to be one way. There is openness to the unknown with curiosity instead. And old souls can sometimes find it hard to recapture their not knowingness. Asking someone with a lot of life experience who may become a bit world weary to drop expectations and look at the world through fresh eyes can be challenging. Yet life becomes much more energizing and interesting when you're open and don't hold expectations about what will be. Suddenly you are receptive to the universe helping you in ways that in the past you did not believe possible all because you kept an open mind. And if you're feeling like you don't really know yourself, your relationships or your place in the world as you once did, if you're feeling that what you once held to be certain now seems to be a little shaky, these are signs you're going through a paradigm shift. This will bring you a new perspective that will free you into the world in new ways. And you will find yourself shedding old limits, fears and misconceptions. And you are stepping beyond what you have known. It's a bit like a traveler in a new city feeling awkward until she gets the lay of the land and how things operate in this new place. And as you trust the unexpected and unknown, the universe will be able to help you in unexpected and previously unknown ways. And if you find yourself questioning the views in mass media or spoken in the conversations of those around you, take heart and know you're awakening from a fear-based world into a love-filled reality. Your confusion will soon transform into joy at discovering that you are free and have no reason to be afraid. You're encouraged by the universe to embrace the power you have as a free thinker. Accept the accelerated mental shift happening for you, even if it creates some temporary uncertainty or discomfort. Dare to think thoughts of love rather than lower your vibration by choosing thoughts of fear. Trust for something helpful and empowering is happening in your soul. Wow. There's an invocation here. It says, through divine grace and unconditional love, I open my mind to the higher truth of love. 
May my mind be cleansed from conditioning and gently open to the light of love. I am willing to unlearn what no longer serves me. I am willing to receive teachings and information, guidance and assistance from those beings of pure light and unconditional love that can assist me on my life journey now. May my paradigm shift bring me closer to peace, love, empowerment and happiness. And may this process be held in the guardianship by the universe with grace, mercy and tenderness. Through my own free will, so be it. So a big message there to be more open than what you currently are, yeah. And releasing old ways of thinking, being, fear-based thoughts to open up to the new. I mean, you've got miracles that can happen when you take those leaps of faith and truly embrace what you want to do. Uh-huh. Beautiful guidance coming through for you. All right, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how it resonated with you. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support. I'll put the link on here and down below. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.